divine truth frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session one. What are spirits? Well, simply put, spirits are just humans who no longer have a physical body. That's all they are. In other words, anybody who passes from the earth to the spirit world ha has with them, or, or still has, the, their consciousness, what we call their consciousness, or, to put it more correctly, their soul with them. And uh, they also have a spirit body attached to that soul. And the only difference between them and ourselves is the fact that we have a physical body also attached to the spirit body whereas a person who has become a spirit no longer has a physical body attached to their spirit body. They only have a spirit body attached to their soul still. But in terms of their physical functioning and their spiritual functioning, they pretty much have a, they still have a body. It looks very, very similar depending on their condition to their body as it looked on earth before they passed. And on top of that, they have very similar apparatus. So it has eyes, ears, nose, mouth, uh, has a way to has internal digestive organs the spirit body does and so a spirit is a person who has passed over into the spirit world who no longer has a physical body but still has a body in which that they can experience the universe they are not limited by the same dimensional limitations that we have in the physical dimension so in other words they can pass through physical matter whereas we in our physical body cannot pass through physical matter um, as far as it's understood at this point in time. The, the spirit can also see things in a different way than we can see them. They see everything from a spirit body's perspective rather than from a physical body's perspective. But essentially, they are the same person in a different body. Mm -hmm. And that's all. There's no great enlightenment that occurs as soon as a person passes. There's no... Uh, feelings of the of some kind of recollection of their past lives because they the reality is they had no past lives, and so there is just a, the same person with the same ideas, the same concepts, the same belief systems, the same emotional problems, the same physical difficulty difficulties, with only one exception, and that is now they are not constrained by the physical universe. They are now able to see both the physical and spiritual universes. So just to clarify. Is, has every spirit at one time had a physical body and a physical life on earth? Yes. However, they might not have been conscious of such a physical body because they might have been conceived but never born. So in other words, if they were aborted or they were miscarried, they did have a physical body while they were on earth, but they may not have had the intellectual consciousness of that body because that comes over a period of time. So every single person who's ever existed and who now exists in the spirit world has had a physical body while on earth, but they may not be conscious of themselves having such a body if their body uh, died usually by the age of two years of age or under or died during, during gestation during, while in their mother's womb. Um, then they would not necessarily be conscious of the fact that they had such a body. Uh -huh. And just also to clarify from what you're saying then, when we pass, when we die in our physical body, will we all become spirits? Yes, every single person who's ever uh, died has always become instantly a spirit. There's a separation that occurs between the physical body and the spirit body. And this is called a cord that connects the two. It's like a, you could think of it like an electrical conduit that passes all of the information from one body to the spirit body and then via the spirit body to the soul. And that electrical conduit breaks, it's, it tears apart and that's called the silver cord, it breaks. And once the silver cord breaks, it's impossible for the soul and the spirit body to receive information through the physical body anymore. So the physical body then just becomes like a, 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 a something that decays on earth mm -hmm. and eventually returns to the physical elements of the ground and, and anywhere else it might be if it's cremated. It might go into the physical elements of the air. But the reality is that the body itself is no longer animated by life because the soul and the spirit body is no longer attached to the physical body. So you can think of it as you've got your soul, your spirit body and your physical body and the physical body is attached via a cord, which, which spirits call the silver cord. It looks like a silver cord. 
to the spirit body and then the spirit body is attached to the soul and the spirits can't actually see the attachment but there is a physical attachment uh, let's call it the golden cord shall we just mm -hmm. to separate it but it's like another electrical conduit if you mm -hmm. like that that gets all of the input app apparatus of the spiritual body and all of that sensory input is filtered through the through the experience of the spirit into the soul so the soul is a repository of the spirit body's life experiences and memories and such forth, and also the physical body's life experiences and sensory apparatus. But once the physical body separates from the spirit body and the silver cord is broken, now from that moment on, the soul and the spirit body can no longer receive information from the physical body. So the physical body just becomes the part of the natural process of decomposition and the spirit body finishes up being the primary dominant way in which the spirit experiences its existence. Mm. Mm.